What's going on guys? Ben from Starbase Wraps here. We've got the new 2025 Tesla Model Y and I was just curious to see like what the capabilities of the windows are, uh, what would ceramic kit do on them, and then like how complex is it to wrap. And spoiler alert, it looks super easy to wrap. Uh, so I'm going to offer 30% off for the first 2025 refresh Model Y that comes to me. I'm going to give you a deal on a wrap or a window tin or a paint protection film or both. And I was just curious to see what the factory windows what their capabilities were so we've got 83 and a half percent infrared heat rejection on the rear coming in at about 27 and that's got a factory tint on it the driver's side of course does not have tint 77.9 coming in at 80 so that's pretty good that's like the same capabilities of a carbon film if you throw some ceramic on here you're going to be in the high 90s no problem all right, we got our solar meter here. Yeah, we go from about 100 to 600. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's see here. Got 450. Let's see what the roof is doing because I heard they have new reflective material. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really good. And then on the back window here. Oh, okay, a little bit. We're showing at 100 on the back. Then we come back out here. And we're back up to 700 yeah so quite a bit of heat rejection there is a line right here from the factory that looks to be on the outside but uh yeah that's really good i'd probably still do sunshades but since this is reflective instead of absorbent uh, absorbent you could probably tint this and be okay all right i'm back here in starbase hq after driving the new 2025 tesla model y juniper my overall thoughts from a wrapper or window tinter are it looks extremely easy to wrap or put paint protection film on. As you saw from the data points for my tint meter and solar meter, it does have some moderate heat rejection capabilities. But if you live somewhere here like Las Vegas, you can really maximize that with a ceramic window tint. That's going to give you probably in the high 90s if you're using a premium film. Uh, it's going to give you as close to 100% that's possible with current film technologies today. And what does that mean for you? Well, one, it could potentially save you range on road trips because your air conditioning isn't working so hard. And if you're charging, it could potentially save you money because your air conditioning is not working so hard, so it's using less energy. So that's one of the reasons why I would choose to use a ceramic window tint. Uh, and it's also just awesome to drive in. Driving that car today without tint, like you could really feel the heat. And then when I got back into my car with the ceramic window tint, I couldn't even feel the sun at all. So. Up to you if you get the new Tesla Model Y. Um, I would recommend putting ceramic film on it, but if you're living up north in like Maine or Alaska or whatever where it doesn't get too hot, you probably don't need any tin on it at all. But down south, Texas, Las Vegas, California, you're definitely going to want some ceramic window tin. So that's going to do it for this video. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video, and we'll catch you on the next one.